Hi everyone! In this video, we want to provide an overview of how we set up a scene in a third-party 3D application and exported the data for use in Terrigen. We did this to simulate what might happen when integrating Terrigen into a visual effects pipeline for a shot in which the terrain layout and animation data are created in another application. We'll be using Lightwave 3D to create our scene, but your software package may have other methods of exporting the same data. Our goal will be to export any motion data for the camera and 3D objects into an FBX file and the basic rough terrain to an image file in EXR format. Along the way, we'll make note of certain useful measurements, such as minimum and maximum heights of the terrain and the altitude of the camera and aircraft. We'll pay close attention that the speed and distances traveled as well as the 3D object scale are correct in terms of real-world measurements. Both Lightwave 3D and Terrigen use meters as their default unit of measurement so sharing data between the two software packages should be seamless. In order to highlight many of Terrigen's features, we've decided to create a shot of three aircraft flying in formation over a terrain with dramatic cloud cover. We blocked out the animation for our 3D scene using low-resolution objects for the aircraft. We set the aircraft speed at Mach 2, or about 680 meters per second, and settled on an altitude of 10,000 feet, or 3,048 meters, for the shot. From this height, we were able to determine how much of the terrain might be visible, about 58 kilometers, or 36 miles. We used low-resolution mountain shapes to act as placeholders for the key features of the terrain that would later be created in Terrigen. Once we were happy with the layout of the scene, we were able to determine the highest and lowest points of the terrain. We'll use this information to create a black and white gradient from the lowest elevation to the highest elevation, and use that as a material texture for the terrain. Next, we want to render an orthographic top-down view of the full extent of the terrain and save it in an EXR format, which will preserve the floating point values of the texture. This will be used in Terrigen as a height field image to define the overall terrain. We also rendered and saved a second image of the volcano area, so we can demonstrate how to bring out more detail using higher resolution images of specific sections of the terrain. Our last step is to create a version of the 3D scene which we can export as an FBX file. We returned the master null object's y-axis value to zero for the altitude, so that we could easily adjust this parameter on the fly in Terrigen. We removed all non-essential items, replaced or consolidated animated 3D geometry with null objects, and baked the motion data to optimize the scene. Our final optimized scene contained only the camera and a null object for each aircraft. Once the FBX file has been saved and the EXR files rendered, we're ready to import them into Terrigen, which is our next video. We hope you've enjoyed this video and learned something new. Thanks for watching.